So, uh, so I was asked to do a piece of art on a Channel Islands fish surfboard, which is a lovely thing they sent to my house, shiny, brand new, and now they wanted me to make art on it. And, and to me, that was just like taking the whole thing out of commission. Now you can't surf it anymore. And I just didn't like that idea. And I go, how do I make it permanent? How do I make it permanent? I can't just do a drawing on it. And this scrimshot thing just came to mind. And, and I had actually been procrastinating. I was just staring at the blank board for auction was like the next weekend. And, and then I was like, that's a scrimshot technique. Let's see if it works. I ran in the garage and grabbed an old board and I grabbed a, a fit, little finishing nail and I just, just scratched it weird head and then I, I got a bottle of ink and I smeared it on and I wondered like what's gonna happen and so at first it was a big blob of ink on the beautiful board and I'll, I mean no I didn't this is my experiment on my board blob of ink and I'm experimenting and then I go all right I'll let them look good but then I wiped it vigorously off and then the ink came off except in the scratches and it almost looked like it was I mean it was an, it was etched and also the ink went into, into a little natural cracks whatever and that just added like a richness to it and uh, so I so I went at it and the, with the board and I did sort of a silly cartoon which I thought was awesome but uh, and it did sell but <laughs> It wasn't like, I don't know, surfers in general, I think they want like, they want it heroic. They want like cool, badass. And, and, and instead I made a, a joke about surf art sounds like surf fart, surf fart. So, so I drew this guy, like looked like Sir Walter Raleigh was bending over doing a drawing on a canvas of a wave and I called him Sir and he was farting with a musical note. So that was Sir Fart and then next to it was Sir Fart. You know, like, I was just, <laughs> and I thought it was awesome, but when the auctioneer, like there had been like board after board of like big waves dropping, you know, badass, you know, then, and then the auctioneer had to like say what I just told you and <laughs> the whole place you could hear a pin drop except it was like one of those like <laughs> a couple people like thought it was awesome but you know, thank god all of a sudden somebody would go like I'll take it and another person no I'll take it and it finally sold but so that was my first scrimshaw piece and uh the last time they asked me to do that auction. <laughs> anyway, so that's the first thing, but I stuck with it and now I, I, I got better at it. And I, 